All right, I got to work this morning about quarter after eight. Worked all by myself today and I cut and rolled two coats on a stack and I spread out all the spindles and the lattice work. First thing I did was hook up the sprayer, um, take a drop cloth and nail top drop cloth to the spindles so I could spray, spray out the spindles with no overspray on anything. I did that on both sides. That only took about two and a half hours. I'm gonna spend another hour cutting in the stuff that I can't spray. Um, as you can see uh, down there next to the house. Um, and then I took a solid hour and a half with a, a big deck brush and I brushed out the entire deck on my knees with a four inch brush um, to get in between the cracks. So once I did that, I top coated all the spindles and all the steps twice and then I rolled out the deck. I don't know how many square foot it is and I don't know how many spindles there are. It wraps around the house, but it is quarter after six and I'm cleaning up. Actually, I already cleaned up and I'm done for the day. I'm starting this week's vlog off early just so we could get it done in time. That is it for me for right now and for the weekend. Um, hopefully next week I got some more real estate stuff to talk about. All right, happy Wednesday, everybody. As you can kind of tell, it's super wet today, so I am not on my job prepping right now. I haven't really vlogged the last two days because I've been prepping and it's miserable and humid, especially when you're sanding and everything's sticking to you. Um, today is Wednesday, so I woke up, it was raining, and uh, I thought about my goals, my long-term goals, and I realized there's a couple things I need to get done today. So I came up to my listing on Clover, and now I'm going to talk about the Brian Buffini Real Estate Training Course, Peak Producers. Um, I need to do a couple things in here real quick, and then I will sit down and talk about, give my review and talk about the entire program. It was a 16-week program. Um, online, uh, the episode would get posted every Tuesday morning, and you had two or three weeks to watch that episode. And it was about an hour to two hours of... Um, basically Brian Buffini discussing this entire program here. I'm going to put the phone down so it's not wiggling. Um, and we got in depth about everything that a real estate agent should know about growing their business. And not so much kind of the legal aspect of it, but it's actually about creating referrals, leads, growing your database, Every week we talked about one of those things and he's been a realtor for about 20, 20 years. He has developed his program with his partner, Joe Nigo, and they have really done a great job of putting it all into this, basically everything's in here, of how to grow your business. A little bit of background about Brian Buffini. He is originally from Ireland. He uh, moved to California about 20 years right from Ireland and uh, he wrote a book um, he wrote a couple books um, one is called The Emigrant Edge Emigrant not Immigrant um, that was actually very very good um, I got that one and read that one the first one I ever read of Brian Buffini is Working by Referral which is basically this program but is how you grow your database and your business and you actually work by referral so you don't spend too much time and money and energy on uh, wasteful things when you should be doing what really matters most. So during this entire 16-week program, we talked about so many different things. I'm not just going to read them off because it's just too much right here. Um, there are some highlights in here that I will talk about real quick. The first one is talking about being an entrepreneur and wearing all the different hats and how some days you have to wear the CEO hat or the COO hat and you have to focus on what you're doing and you have to be the best at what matters most. So if you had so many things to wake up in the morning, you had five big things to do today, like I did this morning. I thought about my long-term goals. I have those written down. I think everyone should in here. Um, my long-term goals and I thought about what was most important to me, which was my long-term goals and how to get that. So I started knocking the most important things off my list. So instead of being kind of overwhelmed, what am I gonna to do today, what should I do? I just looked at my goals and I started doing my day. 
And as an entrepreneur, you wear so many different hats. And today I'm going to end up wearing three or four different hats of just the different things I'm going to do today. So in this program, it helps you understand that and help you focus on that. So it really helps you eventually grow your businesses. Um, building a database was huge. Um, since I'm, I'm from Buffalo and I've only lived in Rochester for five, four or five years, I don't have the biggest database or sphere of influence, but since I've read Working by Referral, I've really been focusing on growing my database. And uh, I've had to delete people off of there, um, which is fine, but I'm still growing it because I'm keeping my, uh, you know, he talks about his A plus and A and B clients and how to work with them. So I've been trying to get a database full of just A, A pluses, A's and B's clients. And if they're not in there, then I delete them out of my database. Um, we also talked about working with buyers and working with sellers, having tough conversations when price adjust adjustments. I talked about meeting people and breaking bread with your customers, taking them out to dinner and coffee or lunch. Really just trying to build an army of people that will refer you. And that is obviously for a real estate agent like myself, that is the most important thing. Um, unless you have big pockets and you want to advertise like crazy, go for it. I do not. So I am going to do it the right way, I feel like, and I'm going to build a solid foundation, and that was my goal. So that's why I basically did this, did this program, and I'm glad I did. Um, we set goals in here, um, week goals, month goals, and uh, year goals, which is good because I can look back at my last year's goals. I want to go over this entire book every year with myself and read through it and really just helps remember rem remember and remind myself everything that was in here. We talked about how to be a pro peak producer and being a true entrepreneur, which is what Brian and Joe are. And uh, it's really, it's really helped my business so far. And I'm really hoping that I'm going to keep doing these, uh, keep doing what they say and uh, I'll hopefully grow my business more and more each year. Yeah, it may grow slowly, but if it's growing with a good foundation and it's growing slowly, I'm good with that because I know that my goals are long-term goals and I know I could get there. Anyways, this whole program was phenomenal. Um, anyone who's a real estate agent should do it. If you're new or been doing it for 20 or 50 years, it's still a good program for you and you wanna build your business, it's gonna be perfect for you. Um, again, it was only $400. That's uh, super cheap for all the content that is in this book alone. Um, it's not just a book with a bunch of words in it. As you went, we would um, fill out our, our own handwriting in certain areas and, and fill in the blanks that kept you into the entire class, the entire class for about an hour and a half every week. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe. And uh, I'm sorry there's not more real estate going on this week. It's just been a quiet week, um, about a week and a half or so, we are going to do an open house here. Um, in my mind, I'm going to think about a part, another price drop. We just haven't had enough hits online or showings or walkthroughs at open houses. But a house this size, there is a, kind of a, a buyer's market for something this size and this, this uh, price range. Everything, everyone thinks that we're in a seller's market right now um, until you get to about this price range and then it turns to a uh, buyer's market. There's just more houses and buyers out there for something like this. So it's gonna take a little longer to sell. Um, my last listing on, in Greece, I had showings constantly. There would be one or two a day sometimes it felt like and people always came to the open house. Um, there was never a week or, or, or a couple day span where I never had a showing in there. So it's so different to go from that 125 to this is 525. Just how quiet it is and trying to get people to come in and look at it. But that's all right. Everyone that comes into this one, I've been doing a good job of following up with them and trying to build some kind of relationship. So if they don't want to buy this one, hopefully I can help them buy something else. And if they buy something else, hopefully they're going to want to list, <clears throat> excuse me, they're going to want to list their current house with me. Anyways, that's it for now. Um, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.